developed by Wolfgang uh, and Kurt Albert and myself uh, and back in 88 there was no climbing walls or cellar or anything like that so we just spent the whole winter training on this thing and uh, Wolfgang used it and that's the only thing he trained on with one finger when he did action direct in Germany which is which was the hardest route at the time and uh, I only trained on this thing into Bukes and within the first week I could like do the do the rows 8V easy and I did a second descent for a couple of 8V pluses and all I'd actually use was this thing so they really do help a lot for power. From the top of this run to the top of this run there to um, there to there is eight and a half inches. These runs maybe about seven or an inch and a half wide and the angle of the overhanging, if you go up four inches, it goes out one inch. So it's one in four. Um, you need a fair bit of leg room behind so your feet don't kick. And you also tend to swing to the side. So it's nice to have a little bit of room either side. Uh, try and make it fairly strong so it doesn't flex. And that's, uh, that's all you need. How will the campus board benefit you? Basically, um, for me, when I'm training in the winter, I basically work on power. And one of the golden rules for me is, and one of the golden rules is, if your power increases, your endurance will increase. But it doesn't work the other way around. So if your endurance increases, your power doesn't increase. The other rule, the thing to reason to train power is that you retain power longer than endurance. So if you reach a certain level of endurance and you stop climbing for a month, it will take you a long time to get back up there. And with power, it won't do. So if I stop climbing for a month, I can probably still do a one-arm pull up and still climb pretty hard, so you retain it for longer. And the other thing is, the power is harder to get. So if you can't do a one-arm pull up, it's probably taking, gonna take you quite a long time to be able to do a one-arm pull up. Whereas if you're not fit, you can get fit reasonably quickly, get endurance, and then you lose it quickly. So really you wanna work on something, you know, because it's harder for you to do. Um, and the main thing you're going to work on with campus boards is your pull-up strength and locking off. And we're going to be trying pulling up, up into this lock and working this power where you're actually holding this position, which will hurt you a lot. The other thing we'll be doing is two-arm dinos, which is going to be pulling and jumping with two hands, which will help with your timing, um, dynamic strength, and it's kind of like, it fires off a lot of fibers in your, in your, in your, in your, in your body. So you can move quick and, and sort of go like that. You look at most good climbers, most hard boulders, they climb very fast. And that's because they can climb quickly. It's not easy to be able to sort of race through boulder pumps and do moves quick. You have to be strong to be able to do it. And that's something we'll be developing when we're trying to do these you know, double dinos and things. Mm -hmm. 